Hi, this is Matthew Robert Payne. Uh, I'm just going to play a prophecy that uh, I uh, requested, and uh, and so um, I uh, will uh, play that prophecy uh, and uh, and see uh, what it says. <coughs> Hallelujah, glory to Jesus. May the name of God be lifted high forevermore in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you once more for ordering this. <coughs> I trust that um, this delivery will bring hope to you, will change your life, and will make your life receive a fresh new start from God in the name of Jesus Christ. God is asking me to tell you this. He says, son, relax. Relax, for affliction shall not rise the second time. Relax, for I am no longer in your past. I am in your future. Keep looking unto me, for I am the finisher and the author of your faith. The past is gone with all the pain, with all the disappointment, with all that came with the past. Even though when the past came initially, it was meant to be a gift from me but the gift corrupted itself with flattery and wrong information and went bad and went back into the <coughs> Now, son, I am in the future. Keep looking at me, for I have a good hope and an expected help for you, which will manifest very soon, says the Spirit of the Lord. As the Spirit of the Lord was speaking to me concerning it, I do not understand fully what God was saying, but I believe God has it to you as it is not full. Then, when I mentioned the part that says the gift of God that went corrupt, God opened my eyes to see a gift wrapped, and on this gift I saw me. I saw Lee, L-E-E, -E, and I saw Sean, S-H-A-W-N. I saw Lee, I saw Sean. I don't know what you have to do with these two names. What is saying, I am no longer there. I am in the future. You see, just as the 15th day in the month of January, is approximately the half of the month or approximately separates the month into two. That same day, God is going to cut you off from your past because God doesn't want you to live there anymore. He doesn't want you to live in your past anymore. <coughs> to stay in the past. I had a feeling uh, that um, there's going to be 14 days of terror in the first 14 days of uh, January and uh, on the 15th day I was going to meet Samantha in the flesh again and uh, uh, you know maybe the media might have picked up on my prophecies about the first 14 days and maybe thrust into interviews with the media. I sense that it was like this new life starting on the 15th and it's essentially uh, you know uh, Essentially, uh, confirming that uh, I don't think uh, the Sean. If you watch all my videos, uh, um, I don't know where that's coming from. Uh, you've been a really good supporter of me. I don't think I'll drop you off. You cannot move forward while you are still looking into the past. You can only move forward when you are looking at the front at Jesus, where He is, who is the author and the finisher. Of, of our faith <coughs> just like God has told you right God has given you the right information 
you will not meet this person. You will not meet him until the judgment day. You will not see the person. So therefore, relax your mind. Let your mind be at peace. Hold on to the word of God. The word of God says unto you, affliction shall not rise the second time. God bless you. This is the word of the Lord for you, especially according to your heart desire. May you receive the judgment in the Lord. According to your heart desire, may you receive the judgment in the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the 15th of January favor you. May the 15th day of January be unto your favor. I saw in the realm of the Spirit. I saw you entering a season of rest at this time on the 15th of January. I saw rest, rest, written all over you, rest, rest, rest. This is the word of the Lord unto you. Peace be unto you. Remember, God is no longer in your past. He is in your future. Keep looking unto him and you will find him there. <coughs> so um, I sensed that 14 days uh, were going to come to pass. I, I, I sensed some pretty heavy judgment happening for 14 days in Australia and America. I sensed like meeting Samantha and going on into a new thing on the 15th and uh, uh, it's some really amazing that he picks the same day, the 15th, that I was thinking of. And uh, it's a tremendous confirmation to me. And uh, I think I'll be ready uh, for Samantha then. Uh, we would have spent three weeks speaking in the spirit. We will have uh, developed a, a great relationship. Uh, it's, uh, it's uh, uh, you know, uh, seven days now eight days that uh, we've known each other and uh, things are growing uh, fast and <clears throat> we're having some uh, good conversations. She, most of the time she comes and lays on my bed and we have hours and hours of conversation and uh, it's really wonderful. Um, he keeps on talking about the past, talking about past friends, uh, past relationships, uh, thing, things I did in the past are, are, are basically a nobody right now. And uh, he's saying, leave that behind, leave that there. You're gonna thrust into something new and, uh, and uh, be, be assured that the new thing is what God's calling you to, not, not the old unknown uh, past, the, the person who's unknown, uh, it'd be something different. And so that's really encouraging, God bless. <laughs>